Welcome to the second part of the data management plan, which is related to the ethical, legal, and security issues. My name is Olga Chirakova. I'm a research data manager at the Open Science Team, University Library of Bern. In this part, we will consider questions related to ethical approvals, data access and security, copyright, and intellectual property rights. The Swiss National Science Foundation expects applicants to demonstrate how relevant data protection standards will be applied and to ensure that all needed approvals to conduct the study will be obtained. Ethics part is relevant for both, studies which are requiring authorizations and which are not. If you are working with non-sensitive data, key ethical standards and code of scientific integrity are applied, while if you are working with biological material, animals, or your research on and with humans, then you might need to get a permission from the ethics commissions either at the faculty of the University of Bern or Canton of Bern. Some research in environmental sciences require to get approvals from research councils or federal office. If you are unsure where and how to apply, please get in touch with the legal service office at the University of Bern and your faculty's research managers or ethics commissions. The SNSF recommends to submit applications to ethics committees or research councils in parallel to the project evaluation. Any person who consents to participate in health-related research must have understand the purpose, the risks, and the course of the study in question. The Human Research Act in agreement with international standards specifies that the person concerned must receive an, a comprehensive written, signed, and dated informed consent form, which includes everything that you plan to do with data. Purpose, nature, and extent of data processing – for example, interview, audio, or video recording, online surveys. The SNSF and Swiss Ethics recommend storing the data for 10 years, while for clinical studies can be up to 15 years. Metadata information must be stored permanently. Provide information if you are willing to disclosure of data to third parties, explain how you will process, store, and archive data, and if you plan to inform participants about the results at the end of your study. In the next step of your data management plan is expected that you will describe how data access and security will be managed. Where and how to start? First of all, identify ethical and legal security issues, which can be relevant for your data. Ask for help early enough to perform information security and data protection analysis. IT department at the University of Bern can help to find an individual solution and follow the international standards. Secure data storage, data transfer and archiving, as well as data which have to be shared and destroyed during and after the project end, are highly important and should be taken into account seriously. There are specific software and programs which meet the requirements of the Cantonal Ethics Commission like RedCap and Secure Trail. To meet data protection requirements related to personal data, there are different online software like Qualtrics and Lime Survey with data storage in Europe. Provide password protected access where needed and limit access to the data in your project team or research group. Get in contact with IT department at the University of Bern. Raw data obtained from video interviews should be pseudonymized or anonymized as soon as possible. And interviews should be encrypted. Pseudonymization and anonymization tools are available, however, residual risks for identification of that person still exist. Next subsection includes questions which are related to copyright and intellectual property right issues. According to the SNSF regulations, the rights to the research results gained in the course of research work funded by the SNSF are owned by the grantees and the employers. Based on the Bern University Act, research results obtained at the University of Bern will be owned by the university. For more detailed information, please contact Legal Service Office at the University of Bern. The copyright is owned by the authors of a scientific work like authorship is a non-transferable right. Who can claim authorship? According to the guidelines of the Swiss Academies for Arts and Sciences, Authorship can be claimed by all persons 
who have made an important contribution to the planning, execution, evaluation and examination of the research work as well as to the writing. Licenses can help either restrict modification of your published work or to make it freely available. For example, CC0 license allows creators to give up their copyrights and put their work into the worldwide public domain. All rights reserved can be applied for commercial products, codes, visualization, software and photos and therefore cannot be freely shared. Funding agencies like SNSF and EU Commission recommend maximal reusability if there are no ethical or contractual agreements. Some forms of processed data like elaborated visualizations or data which will be commercially exploited, for example, patented. Metadata and supplementary material can be published under CC0 license. Before data reuse, please check type of the licenses, if it will allow to reuse the data and under which conditions. Check the ownership data transfer agreement of the data sets or written joint ownership agreement between data provider and data recipient. To conclude a brief summary which provides an overview from identification of issue, fraud, data security analysis, ethical approvals, pseudonymization and anonymization procedures to ethical data sharing. Thank you for watching this video and look forward to supporting you with your data management plans. In the next video you will learn about data storage and preservation.